Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So last week I asked you all on Instagram if you wanted another real estate video or if you wanted a gardening video and 100% of you all said that you wanted a gardening video. So today I'm gonna be sharing a little bit about how I got started with my garden, some tips and tricks that I have learned along the way and show you what it looks like. So if that is something that you want to learn more about, then please keep watching. So the first step was to go to my local hardware store. I didn't have anything for gardening, so I picked up a few items, as well as checked out all of the aisles and all of the shelves to familiarize myself with what it takes to start a garden and also maintain a garden. So there was quite a few options and I also picked up some fertilizer. So here is the space that is adjacent to my townhouse. As you can see, there is quite a lot of stuff and this bush that really doesn't do anything for the space. So this is demo day. I basically had to just trim off all the small leaves and branches throughout this bush and I at this point didn't know what I was getting myself into because it turned out to be quite the project but I was excited this bush has been here for 15 years and it really does nothing for the space other than just take up space so now we actually get to do something with this area of the house and as you can see I'm now breaking down some of the branches and manually doing that there were quite a lot of different branches and stems and I was just trying to figure out a way to cut them without bringing an axe to the picture but I later learned I had to get an axe because just they weren't coming out so I used my body weight and I was sore for a couple days after this project but then I was really happy that I took it all out So here is my garden. It's now been two months since I first planted everything and unfortunately that footage has been lost but here's what the garden looks like now. I have some basil in the front and in the back I have some serrano chilies and they weren't that short or the basil wasn't as tall when we first planted. It's been growing and I also have some yellow squash. The baby squash is growing. One tip that I do want to share is you don't want to water your plants from the top because that is how they get plague and they also turn different shades of gray. Um, you want to make sure that you're watering from the bottom from the root and I have some tomatoes here. They're yellow, orange, turning red. So once they're red, I can pull them. And I have some baby tomatoes growing. I had to put this cage over them so that again, they can grow upright. But so far, I love my garden. I water every other day and I can add things to my salad and my dishes. So I absolutely love it. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification on so that you know exactly when I am dropping a new video. A new video comes out every single Wednesday and it's a new topic. So please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.